Hey, how's it going? Good, and yourself? What we got here? A 1901 Thomas Edison phonograph. They make hip hop reels for this thing, or? Nope. I'm coming into the pawn shop to sell my 1901 Thomas Edison phonograph. What I really like about this phonograph is, is the fact that uh, it was built by Thomas Edison and runs beeswax cylinders, and I think that's pretty cool. So does it work? Yeah, it works. It works awesome. All right, where'd you come across today? Uh, I was traveling to a rodeo in Tucson, Arizona, and uh, came across a guy that was pretty hard up for some cash. All right. So how's this thing work? Runs off of uh, beeswax records. Slides on here like this. OK. And then you uh, lock it into place like this. And then it has a reproducer, which is like a normal record player that has a needle right there. So you lock it into place like this. And then you take the handle and you put it on the side here, lock it into place, put the horn on right here, and you just drop the needle. Gotta be the worst sounding <laughs> ever. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad, buddy. This could be the worst thing I ever heard. I can't believe anybody actually liked this stuff. But it's got Thomas Edison's name on it, so I assume it's worth a lot of money. So what are you looking to do with it, man? You looking to sell it or pawn it or? I'm looking to sell it. How much are you trying to get? Uh, I'd like to get about 1400 I'll be honest with you, man. I just don't know enough about them. I'll tell you what, I'd like to have you speak with my grandfather. He probably had one of these in his living room. He might know what it's worth. That would be great. All right. Okay, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what's so cool about it, Grandpa? Did you have one of these when you were a kid or something? I yeah, right. Back in the days, these were the cat's meow to have in your house because there was no televisions, there was no radio, there was no nothing. This was the first piece of entertainment built for the home industry. Thomas Edison was an inventor. He invented the light bulb and the movie camera. He was also a businessman. He made things that rich people wanted to buy, and that's the way you make money. Corey, have you heard it play? Yeah, some stupid song about Irish and whiskey and... Well, you can relate to that. What do you want to do, guy? You want to sell it, pawn it? I'm looking to sell it. And how much are you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get 1400 for it. Well, I bet you would. I'm looking more at about 500. I have uh, over 13 uh, beeswax records and extra accessories and parts. Let me try to explain something to you. Whoever buys this is going to set it on a shelf in their house and tell everybody what a good thing it is. As far as records and stuff, they're never going to play it. 750. 550. There's two other uh, big horns that go with it. Tell you what. With the extra stuff, I'd go to 700. You want to go seven, seven and a quarter? 675, that's my last offer. 700, we got a deal. All right, we got a deal, sir. Corey, take care of the paperwork. I'm glad that I bought the phonograph, but I hope Corey was taking notes, for that's the way that you negotiate. 